I'm not quite sure what happened, but I'm in a prison bus. <laughs> appears though I've moved and um, I'm not in a bus or a box truck um, I'm overlooking the city of Portland with some heat coming out of this thing Rand is really crazy around here still it's uh, I mean this place is accessible but uh, yeah I know I kind of like swore off apartments for a while um, but I'm not really sure what else to do at this point. Housing and shops and things like that. Um, yeah, it's, I think I'm just gonna hang out here for a while and, oops, to lock the exposure. I'm just gonna hang out here for a while and um, keep an eye on the housing market. I mean, I have three storage units. I'm renting an apartment. The storage units kind of work for a workspace, but I don't know. Like I was saying a few weeks ago, I'm just kind of forcing myself to push forward here. And being closer to town is going to help things out quite a bit. I was taking, I was spending so much time driving and spending so much gas uh, where I was staying before. It, like I said, it was just a temporary thing. And by the way, this, this isn't actually my apartment. This is just the little community room. <laughs> um, it would be a little bit nuts if I spent that much money on an apartment. Um, but, yeah. I'm just gonna hang out. My head's still kind of spinning from all the moving. And, um, I've got some footage that I filmed over the last few days. Oh, I got seven more wheelchairs. <laughs> They're all for power soccer though. Well, except for two of them. Uh, and I think I have a new daily driver. I'm building an F3. Um, I got some footage of that, check it out. I got the keys to the new place. I'm in the middle of moving. And then someone called and they were like, hey, we have seven more wheelchairs for you. But this time they're all permobiles. So now, hang on here. There's a reason behind this. For power soccer, M300s are ideal. There's a kit that you can bolt guards, metal guards directly onto the front of these. Uh, all of these chairs have 120 amp controllers, which is what we need. And also their motors uh, can actually stand quite a bit of abuse. They can be cranked up. You don't have to worry about them overheating as long as you keep an eye on the temperature. There is a way to do a cooling on these with fans. I've sort of made some little fan ducts in the past, but Anyways, I got two of them in here, and there's two more sitting out there. So I've got four M300s here, and I picked up another M300 yesterday, a C300, and an F3. The F3, I think, is gonna be my new daily driver. Uh, it's, it's, it's just the power base. It's missing a couple of random parts, but it shouldn't be too bad. But um, we finally have a legit fleet for soccer. All we need to do is stuff some batteries in these things order the guards, bolt them on, and we're done. We've got like, well, just from what I've picked up in the last couple days, between all of them, a few of them have joysticks missing, but um, we've got like four turnkey ready to go chairs, uh, in addition to the other three that I've got. So this is actually really exciting. It's a lot of work, and I'm glad I got that other storage unit. Another friend's on the way over right now and he's gonna grab one of these chairs because I can only fit three of them in here. And that one, uh, seat elevator's in the up position. But, this is actually really exciting. This is the problem we were having, was getting enough chairs for people to use. Because it's expensive to buy these things. And when you buy them, you don't want to attach big metal brackets to them and go around and smash into things because it's your only chair. So, this is gonna be great. This is really moving power soccer forward here in Portland. The only trick now is transportation. Um, remember how I mentioned a box truck? Well, I'm not gonna be living in one, but I think it might be a good idea to get one 
so that we can transport all this stuff around. Um, yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> all right, we uh, transloaded the other chair into my friend's van and now uh, we're in here. Let me tell you, it makes for an interesting transfer. I have to transfer from that to this and from this to this seat. Um, yeah, let's go to storage and dump these off. Luckily there's space now. And then uh, later this week after I'm done moving, we can go through and inventory some of this stuff and figure out what parts we need and uh, what's here and what's missing and, and all that good stuff. Energy is definitely at a premium right now. These M300s that don't power up are extremely difficult to move. I, uh, I kind of forgot about that. That combined with all the moving I'm doing is kind of catching up with me a little bit. Um, luckily, I think I have one more load that will fit in this van uh, to get into the new place. And then I'll just need help with my bed. But, um, all right, I've got a little bit of coffee left. I'm going to uh, chug that real quick, I think. See if we can get these chairs out of here. <laughs> um, so M300s, because they're mid-wheel drive chairs and they have four caster wheels, one on each corner, getting all those casters to turn without the chair powering up is really difficult. So you can push them straight pretty much okay, but maneuvering them, especially on the carpet in this van, um, the old wrists and arms are not so happy about that. I guess as a um, side benefit, if my hands get cold, I can just grab my wrists because my wrists are nice and warm. <laughs> oh boy. All right, let's let's uh, let's get this done. And then, oh, I forgot. The Rubbermaid cart is still at the new place and I kind of need that to move, but it's in the opposite direction. Um, what time is it? 12.15. Uh, I might just have to do without, because I think if I go back to the new place, grab that cart, and then go back to the old place, traffic is going to absorb all the time it takes, but. Okay, let's get this done. I'd like to take a moment to point out how nice the wiring is on this chair. Check it out. So our joystick wiring comes up through here, plugs in, and uh, look at this, they've got it tucked away in the track here and it runs up to the little swivel joint. But uh, let's take a moment to appreciate how nicely this thing was actually put together. Awesome. Uh, back out here at storage. I have been working on the F3 over here. I left it plugged in overnight and the battery seemed to uh, actually be working. It was missing this little uh, multiplexer box here for the ICS controls. Uh, I had one of those, so I put that on. This actuator for the legs is actually off of, I don't remember exactly, but I was able to get that bolted up and now our leg rests work. I've got some foot plates that will go on here, but the thing powers up now and moves. So it'll actually move around and the seat elevator and everything works on it. All right, it's starting to rain. I gotta get this stuff moved inside. Yeah, I forget exactly which model of chair um, these leg rests came off of. I'm pretty sure it was a C300 or a C500. Although I think the C500s use a different style of leg rest actuator unless this is the backrest actuator um yeah i'll have to do i'll have to look online and try and find some photos and figure out what is what that might actually be a backrest actuator of course this chair is different actually let me look at one of these other ones 
let's see here. So that's leg rest, it points back. As you can see there. And, oh. So backrest actuator actually points this way. So that might be one of those. Yeah, oh, cool. Well, I need to move some of this stuff inside before it starts raining too hard. <laughs> getting in yeah. okay we're between rainstorms and uh, grab some more parts I'm pretty sure the f3 uses the newer style of 3g seating so I think a lot of the stuff should be compatible I went ahead and set up this fan in here to kind of dry this thing off because it got a little bit wet uh, we had some sleet coming down for a few minutes, but um, I think this stuff should be compatible. Um, I need both hands for this. I'll show you once I get it on there. Got the rest of the chairs unloaded. The hailstorm, ha hailstorm has subsided. Still a lot of water coming off the roof. But we're making progress on this chair. Come on, lift. It's looking more and more like a chair. So we got armrests and the back plate on here. Uh, now all we need to do is put the side rails on. And then I'm gonna have to organize this wiring a little bit here. Uh, this is just barely long enough. And then we're gonna have to put a mount on here for the joystick. And also the ICS switch box, as you can see, has been cut off. Uh, this is just a random joystick from something. But uh, I've got the side rails right here. go side rails got a bucket of screws so we should be able to get these put on here it's raining and everything and trying to deal with the camera and this at the same time isn't very good so I need to move this cart out of here so I can actually get in here when it starts raining again so I'll be back in a few minutes okay side rails are installed I don't know if it shows up on camera but they're like green I don't know how they got that color, but anyways, they're mounted on now. I got the wiring adjusted here. So now I've got the seat pans and the seat back, and we're gonna go ahead and get these put on here. Let's see if we have enough battery in this camera to do this. Wait a minute. This 
thing can stand? Are you kidding? Okay, well that's not completely standing, but what the heck? I didn't know F3s could do that. Huh. Interesting. All right, well, it's starting to rain again. I think this is a pretty good stopping point for right now. The thing seems to work. Uh, it needs some programming. It's only set up for an attendant control right now and it moves really slowly. But yeah, there we go. I mean, it's sort of like starting to look like a chair and stuff. All right, cool. I'm gonna shove this back in here and we're gonna continue moving. And by the way, if you've ever been to an auto auction, you may recognize logos like that. This seat pan actually came off of a C500 that I got at an auto auction. Apparently it was in a van that got into an accident and like the rear stuff was bent up on it. I think I have some photos of that, uh, trying to bend the uh, steel back with like a 12 foot long pry bar and a guy hanging on the end of it. But um, yeah, I used that chair for a little while, but um, I think I wound up parting that one completely out and that's where most of these parts came from. But uh, anyways, yeah, auto auction. <laughs> Uh-oh, looks like you got some moisture inside the joystick. It's fogging up. Yeah. Oop. There we go. So after what I thought was a lot of work, um, all I packed was the stuff on the top of the cart and that shelf. Not nearly as much as I thought. Oh well. Well. I still have a decent amount of setup to do and uh, getting things organized and the layout that I want in here. I think I'm gonna have to buy a desk for the corner. There is one really awesome thing though, and that would be gigabit internet. So I'm basically going from taking five or six hours to upload a video to about 13 seconds, um, which also means live streaming should be a little bit easier. So, should probably come up with some projects to do and uh, do the whole live stream thing. I know I've done a few spotty things here and there, like, you know, screwing around with Legos or fixing Bluetooth speakers or things like that. Um, also, there is a vast network of trails around here in Portland. So once the weather gets a little bit warmer, I mean, we're getting close to spring here, we should have a lot more running around outside and maybe some live streaming trail runs, things like that. But it's a lot better to be back in town now, that's for sure. And uh, I can finally get back to focusing on making videos and things I like to do. The last uh, month or so has been a little bit interesting, trying to find housing and uh, some other things going on. But all that's past now, so we can get back to it. And uh, also, I'm still planning on doing a review for the new Quantum Forefront wheelchair. I'm in the process of getting things set up to get a demo unit for that. It looks like it might actually be a pretty cool chair. So I can't guarantee when that's gonna be. Hopefully it's within a month, but uh, someone's getting these things set up takes a little while. And also we need to get the RGB lighting installed. I think there's room up in that little gap right there between the cabinets and the ceiling. But anyways, lots of things to set up, get the space going here. Uh, finally got good internet and uh, yeah. Let's get back to it. So real quick random side note, do you hear that music? It's not like crazy loud, but sort of loud. Um, I just went to the office, the unit next to me has not rented yet, and I wanted to check and see how the sound deadening was. And I have the sound bar sitting right there in the window, and I turned it up to that volume. I should probably turn that down, copyright stuff. Um, couldn't hear it at all next door. Um, and it's like five feet from the wall. So, sweet. It's always nice when you have the ability to check that stuff. And it's cool because I have no neighbors on this side. Um, it's like empty space. So, I think this should be good. Oh. 